Well, Tesla's Q3 delivery numbers are in, and it is, as expected, a bit of a mixed bag. Let's take a look. Hey, y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. Before we begin, have you noticed my new glasses? Well, how about these? Or these, they look fantastic, don't they? And with Glasses USA, I was able to shop for these from the comfort of my own home, including even getting my prescription filled for these glasses. If you didn't already know, Glasses USA is one of the largest eyewear retailers in the United States, offering thousands of eyeglasses and sunglasses from makers like Oakley, Ray-Ban, Gucci, and many, many more. And what's even better, you can get these frames starting as low as $39, 70% off retail. Glasses USA has really cool technology where they scan and your face, and then you can virtually try on any of the glasses from the comfort of your own home. And if all of the amazing choices are a bit overwhelming, Glasses USA has a quiz you can take which only takes about a minute and suggests the right pair of glasses based on your face shape and your needs. And here's something really cool. This particular frame is part of Glasses USA Save the Tortoise collection. Inspired by beloved endangered tortoise species and their commitment to help preserve them, together with the American Tortoise Rescue Foundation, Glasses USA created a unique eyewear collection that takes in inspiration from endangered tortoises, and up to 10% of the proceeds are being donated to the foundation. So what do you think? These are pretty amazing, aren't they? And there are thousands more for you to choose from. And if you use my link in the description in the next 24 hours, there is a massive savings waiting for you. So be sure to check it out. Once again, thank you to Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video. And be sure to check out my link in the description for your exclusive savings offer. And now let's get back to it. Let's begin with just a little bit of a side note. This is very exciting. Starlink is now available across the entire United States. If you don't know, I just got Starlink here in Athens. It wasn't available until, what was it, a month ago? Maybe just a couple of weeks ago. It was, it was a very short time ago. So anyway, it's available now, which is super, super cool. Anyway, turning to the main you know, topic du jour, we have uh, Q3 delivery numbers are out. I posted this on X, so you can go check that out if you're interested. Anyway, let's take a look at this. So this is Q3 uh, delivery numbers. You can see production of the Model S and X were 13,688. Deliveries, almost 16,000. Model 3 and Y, which they don't split out, unfortunately, are 416,800 with deliveries of 419,074 for a total of 430,488 with a deliveries of 435,059. So notice the difference here. We've got uh, not quite 5,000, maybe 4,500 or so difference between production and deliveries. So let's take a look here at Q2. So this was, um, this was back on July 2nd. So three months ago here. Uh, anyway, we've got uh, production of Model S and X of 19,489 with deliveries of 19,225, so slightly less than production. We've got the Model 3 and Y, a production of 460,211 with deliveries of 446,915, which is a significant difference, obviously. And then you have production totals were 479,700 and deliveries were 466,140. I'm not going to worry about that last column of operating and lease, you know, all that stuff doesn't really matter that much. Anyway, so you could see that the numbers were 466,140 compared to 435,059. So it's a miss of, you know, 31,000 ish in terms of, you know, quarter to quarter growth and things like that. So it's a reduction of about 31,000 quarter to quarter delivered and production was even less than that. So why is this a mixed bag? This seems like something where people might go like, oh, this is just unmitigatedly a terrible thing. And you know, the short sellers, <coughs> Gordon Johnson, <laughs> for example, is going to talk about how we've got an obvious proof that Tesla is, is losing it. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be terrible. The future is awful. This is not really the case because Tesla told us that their production numbers were going to be down this quarter because they were retooling. They were shut down in Shanghai for a long time. They were shut down in Fremont for a long time. I actually don't know a lot of details about Berlin. I believe that was shut down, but I didn't hear as much about it being shut down as much. And then, of course, Giga Texas in Austin has been shut down and been doing some retooling and things like that. So there is a lot of, of moving parts. And Tesla told us in the Q2 earnings report that Q3 was going to be reduced because we weren't going to see, at, they were going to have to do all this retooling and everything. So it was, it was something that they told us about, they guided for, I believe. 
believe I just checked the stock market a few minutes ago and actually Tesla had gone up slightly on the on the deliveries, which is just crazy. <laughs> it's like, anyway, Wall Street had pretty much guessed somewhere around the uh, the range of four. It was pretty wide. It was actually 430 to 460, I believe. It was a very, very large number. Anyway, they had guessed between those two numbers. This is obviously on the lower end of that, but that was also the one that was the more sort of reasonable estimate. I didn't even try, you know, I, I normally don't try to do it publicly, but I at least try to take a guess on my own to see what the, the delivery numbers would be. But I was I was like, this quarter is going to be absolutely insane. The, the really good thing in this is that we see deliveries of 435.059 or about 4,500 more deliveries than production. The reason why is because in past quarters, you've seen Tesla's production grow and deliveries are, are behind it, and so they lag. And that has a lot to do with Tesla doing the whole unwinding of the push at the end of each quarter. Although when I went to Savannah and we picked up our new car so much for subtlety, we, we picked that up and I asked the showroom guy and he's like, we're selling the cars out of the showroom right now. <laughs> he's like, that's the last cars we got left to sell. So that was the September 30th. So last day of the quarter, they were selling out of all of their inventory. So that is the situation. So, you know, unwinding the push or not, they were still selling out of everything. It would have been a bad sign if Tesla had delivered fewer this quarter than they produced because they have some cars in inventory in transit and everything. And because they produce less, they should have filled some of that gap that they were having in the last several quarters in terms of producing so quickly that they can't get the cars to customers. Obviously, when you reduce the production, if you also saw if deliveries had been like 425 or something, that would have been a very, very bad sign because it would have indicated that there is a demand gap. But this indicates to me that you're still selling all the cars you can make. You just made fewer cars, so you couldn't sell as many this quarter. And because there was some inventory in transition, that inventory was able to fill some of that gap. So this is actually, in my mind, excellent news that Tesla was able to sell about 4,500 more cars than they produced this quarter. That was the number I was looking at. I didn't really care about the production numbers. I cared about deliveries being bigger than production, whatever that number was. So I am very satisfied with that. Let's take a look at a couple of other things here. Sawyer Merritt, who is always amazing. If you're not following him, you should be following him. My goodness. Anyway, Tesla has now delivered 1.324 million cars at the as of the end of the quarter three 2023, officially surpassing their entire 2022 total of 1.313 million cars. So that is really good news. They've got an entire quarter left to go. Tesla is still targeting 1.8 million vehicles for the year, which would put them at, um, you know, a little, just slightly less than 500,000 cars for, for the quarter. So they are, I think they're thinking with, I guess there's a bumped model Y. I, I looked on the order page because I was like, no, don't tell me that like two days after I bought the thing, it's bumped in the US. But I believe the China made uh, model Ys have gotten a bump. It's not like a full refresh, but they've got a little bit longer range and a little bit better motors. And I actually believe that they might have the LED interior thing. So I don't care about any of that stuff, except for honestly, a little bit, the better motors kind of makes me sad about that. But anyway, it doesn't look like that's available in the US yet. But regardless of that, that thing is that's going to help push sales. Obviously, the new Model 3s that were only out at the very, very end of the quarter are going to really help push Model 3 sales. Model S and X are always kind of a drop in the bucket, so it doesn't matter that much. But anyway, yeah, so they, they need to deliver about, as he says, 476,000 vehicles at the end in this quarter. That seems very, very reasonable. If assuming that all of the factories are up and running, and everything is functioning as, as expected by the beginning of this quarter so that they can produ produce that many cars. That will be, I believe, a record if they do 476. I don't think they've ever done that many before, but that's, you know, that it seems very well within reason. And of course, we should start seeing a few Cybertrucks roll off the line. So that'll be cool too. It'll be interesting to see if Tesla breaks out the Cybertruck as a separate entity because they have the S and X together and they have the Y and 3 together. But the Cybertruck doesn't really fit either of those categories. So it'll be really interesting to see if they break that out at the end. So anyway, then the last thing, if you're interested in comparing this, Q3 2022, they sold 343,830 cars. Q3 of 2023, 435,059. So you can see year over year, a pretty massive growth in all of this. It's very, very impressive. So really amazing work to Tesla. I, I, I'm very impressed by what they're doing. And I, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's impressive that they are able to continue doing this even as they're retooling and doing all of that work. So good job for them. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about what we got. 
I, I, a short video today, but of course, be sure to do all the liking and subscribing and all of that stuff. A really big thanks again to Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video. This is amazing. These are great glasses. I really love them. Super easy process. Definitely check out my link in the description to get your offer in the next 24 hours. And in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.